I'm live from the Mississippi River Delta right near the Mississippi-Arkansas border near the Greenville, Mississippi area right now and I'm targeting central and eastern Arkansas for even a strong tornado threat this late afternoon and evening. You can see this flag just ripping out of the south, big time southerlies right now, that low level jet just above the ground, transporting moisture northward, funneling up to the Mississippi River Delta. That's why right now, if you look at the wrap analysis, there's actually no capping inversion this far east, aided by some of the breaks in the clouds that have happened so far today. Further west into Arkansas, there is quite a bit of convective inhibition, but I do expect as that front moves off to the east by mid to late afternoon, initiation of supercells should happen across southwestern Arkansas into northwestern Louisiana, and those will be moving east-northeast to the enhanced risk area, eastern, south southeastern Arkansas into northeastern Louisiana. That's where I'm targeting and I do think that there certainly is a chance of even some strong tornadoes. Anytime you get a 50 to 55 knot low level jet just above the ground, if a tornado happens, it's going to cause big problems. I don't expect a big outbreak of weaker tornadoes today, but I do think that there, if there is a tornado, the kinematics are sufficient uh, to create a pretty strong tornado uh, today with any of those so storms that are able to tap in uh, to that low level jet. There are a couple failure scenarios for a more widespread severe weather outbreak uh, today. And uh, that could be a, a messy evolution of the convective elements, a uh, multitude of storms interacting with each other, congealing into an MCS before moving into the Mississippi River Delta. But I just don't see that as a viable scenario today. I think the most likely scenario is uh, organization of discrete HP supercells moving off of that cold front, moving through eastern Arkansas, and having the potential of even producing strong tornadoes. And that's why it's incredibly important if you live uh, over a majority of central, eastern, and southern Arkansas, back even into far northeast eastern Texas, northern Louisiana, to stay tuned to those severe weather watches and warnings, have a severe weather safety plan in place. Information saves lives, so be sure to stay tuned to those storms, especially those that are upstream of your area off to the southwest of your location, and definitely stay safe today because another dangerous severe weather day is on tap with an enhanced risk and a threat for tornadoes.